Welcome to St. Mary's Parish in Barrie, Ontario for the Daily Mass on Monday, April the 13th, Easter Monday. Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today's Mass is offered for the intentions for the recovery of Linda Ibsens and for the soul of Sam Arrigo. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, on this octave of Easter, let us call to mind our sins and let us ask God for forgiveness of our sins, for He is full of compassion and love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are seated at the you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God Amen. in the highest, and Amen. on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the eleven, 
raised his voice and addressed the crowd. People of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know. This man, handed over to you, according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope, for you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you confidently of our ancestor David, that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on his throne. For seeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses, being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this that you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. Keep me safe, O Lord, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol, or let your faith, faithful one see the pit. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand our pleasures forevermore. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. After Mary, Mag the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. After Mary Magdalene and the other Mary had heard the message of the angel that Jesus had been raised from the dead, they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. 
And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While the women were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priests had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You must say, His disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story is still told among the Jews to this day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day, this is still the day in the octave of Easter. These eight days are, as it were, equal to Easter Sunday. We say, we don't sing the Gloria during the week, but we glory in the cross and the resurrection of Christ. I think about times, especially when I was younger, a child, when uh, we had a secret. And it was almost as if that secret was bursting to get out of us. Uh, we couldn't really uh, hold a secret. Yet this secret tale that the authorities concoct, that we hear about in the Gospel today, it didn't hold the test of time because the truth always prevails. We bear witness to that truth. We bear witness to the reality of the resurrection in our words and in our actions. We rejoice in singing God's praises, singing Alleluia throughout these 50 days of Easter. Alleluia is our song. Alleluia is our anthem. Praise the Lord. The disciples were both fearful and excited. Those first women evangelizers, first witnesses of the risen Lord, afraid but also excited. And we too may be fearful, but the resurrection affords us not only hope, but excitement. Over the centuries, we have said, blank changed the world forever, whatever that blank was. The steam engine, or the automobile, or the Wright brothers, flying for the first time, changed the world forever. Chemical weapons in World War I, or the use of nuclear weapons in World War II, changed the world forever, we say. Or space travel, or the fear of Y2K, 9-11, this pandemic changed the world forever. No, really it is the life, the ministry, the passion, the death and the resurrection of Christ and his ascension into spirit-filled glory. This Paschal mystery that has changed us, has changed our world forever. Christ is risen, risen indeed. Alleluia.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the mysteries of order, one who come to share the divinity of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The humble spirit and content heart of accept by your Lord, the second master, your sight is to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain an ending happiness through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land Every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, when broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of your saving passion, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ so said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my soul, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already, already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. But the pains which he endured, Alleluia, our salvation hath procured, Alleluia. Now above the sky is king, ever sing Alleluia Sing we too 